Hello friends, myself Chirag Palodia. Today I am going to teach you fully associative cache memory topic of computer organization and architecture. Uh, first of all, see different mapping techniques. Uh, there are two different techniques direct mapping associative mapping associative mapping divided into two parts fully associative set associative today i am going to teach you fully associative uh, this is the block diagram of fully associative uh, so you can see that the diagram shows that fully associative mapping technique in this technique a main memory block can be placed into any cache block position so block 0 will be placed any of the cache position block 1 will be placed any of the cache position so there is no restriction like uh, direct uh, mapping cache so this technique is also you can say it is flexible technique <coughs> as there is no fixed block of the memory address has only two fields so now you can see that uh, main memory address so this block zero address have only two fields uh, in direct mapping case there are three fields so here one field is word and second one is tagged in uh, tag in direct mapping there are three fields one is tag block and word this technique is also referred to as fully associative case uh, first field tag uh, tag field the tag bits are required to identify a memory block when it is resident in the case if any of the block comes from the main memory to cache memory so how can we identify using the tag field we can identify so also we can say that uh, tag field consists of uh, first 12 bits of the um, uh, block address now see the higher order 12 bits of the address received from the CPU are compared to the tag bits of each block of the cache to see if the desired block is present. If CPU wants to any kind of uh, data from the main memory, so main memory block will be moved in cache memory. So uh, address of this uh, block 0, 1, any, any one of the block address, uh, first 12 bits of the address stored in the tag bits. Once the desired block is present, the word field is used to identify the necessary word from the cache memory. <clears throat> the technique gives complete freedom in choosing the cache location in which to place the memory block from the main memory. Thus the memory space in the cache can be used more efficiently in compared to direct mapping cache. So if uh, all the blocks are filled and only 127 blocks are remaining it is empty. So if block 1 is comes and it is stored in block 127 so it is flexible so efficiently we can use cache memory uh, blocks a new blocks that has to be loaded into the cache has to replace an existing block only if the cache is full if all the blocks of the cache memory are full and block i will become so it will be stored anywhere in the block and uh, it replaces the any of the block from the cache memory and drawback of this system is in this technique it is necessary to compare the higher order bits of address of the main memory with all 128 tag corresponding to each block to determine whether a given block is in the cache so now i will explain with example this drawback if uh, block 1 is put inside here or any of the blocks we can say it is stored in the 16th number block of the cache memory whenever a processor wants data of this uh, main memory block one so uh, processor gives the address of the block one so it is compared with the all 128 take bits from one by one it is identified on the 16th block and it gives that block to processor so this is the main drawback of fully associative cache memory Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirag Baloria. Press bell icon to get new video notification. Thank you.